so um, I'm uh, just setting off now to go to Plymouth you'll notice I'm not looking at the phone the camera because it's it's dangerous that is so this is a bit dangerous but I'm gonna concentrate on the road um, this might be illegal actually I don't know if this is illegal hopefully it's not um, so yeah just just setting off now from Cardiff to go to Plymouth um, playing with uh, Brunel and um, new cowboy builders and I think it's the band called Caracals I think I don't know if that's how you say the name um, but yeah playing there now tonight um, I'm gonna hop hopefully I got time to go and dump some stuff at stuff at my friend um, stuff that's not a real word is it stuff at my friend Robin's house because um, I'm gonna stay there tonight and um, and then I'll go, go go to the gig like I just just decided to listen to um, to Bane uh, the Give Blood album is like my first CD of the of, of this trip I thought it'd get me really pumped and like really psyched up but to be honest I just it kind of like made me feel a bit agitated really um, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and persevere with it and see how it goes so um, I'll, I'll uh, sign off for now and We'll catch up again, all right? Nice one. This is the second day of this tour. I know I look like I've got like a painful look on my face. I'm not in any pain at all. Um, I'm going for a walk in, uh, well, we're not in Plymouth really. What area, what area would you call this? Dartmoor, is it? So yeah, we're in Dartmoor. And um, I feel a little bit out of breath. I'm wearing some wellies. I just see if I can point the camera down show you these wellies that I, I've, I've borrowed these wellies and um, we just walked through like this really boggy area when I say we I'm on about uh, Robin and Megan here who I'm, I'm, I'm with that's, oh, the, yeah. that's those guys <laughs> who I, uh, I stayed with last night um, the gig last night was wicked in Plymouth um, Brunel the band Brunel who's kind of like uh, who sorted out the show they were uh, like the nicest guys amazing like i never met them before and they turned out to be super nice just like wicked and um there was uh caracals who were really really wicked band really nice as well uh, i think it's chris the singer he was a nice guy and then um some like welsh mostly welsh uh band called new cowboy builders who they're bristol based anyway they were really good as well and they were cool so you know it was it was a really nice uh, it was an, a really nice time so anyway um I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for now carry on doing this little walk before i go to um where am i going yeovil i'm playing tonight um but i'm gonna go via exeter to visit um my friend John and his family just for the cuppa so anyway yeah that's that and um, I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you again nice one head swim this is does anyone remember head swim? Oh, 
they were amazing for a while and I got a little bit bored of them because I found them a little bit, they got a little bit less interesting I thought, but um, this album, Flood, oh, it's amazing, classic, classic. These memories are all just fading lights. I'm in uh, I'm in Yeovil in this guy James's house, and um, in about ten minutes I'm gonna play uh, I'm gonna play here downstairs in the um, in his middle room of his house. It's quite darkly lit and it's kind of it's quite cool actually. It's quite atmospheric. He's just played a set now, um, his first ever acoustic uh, like solo set he's ever done, and it was it was wicked actually. So. Um, so yeah, I'll probably kind of fill you in on on how it went, like later or tomorrow or something like that. Um, and that's it, really. That's all I was gonna tell, gonna say in this video. So it's quite not very interesting. Um, but I, you know, I, I've said it now, so it's done. Nice one. And if you write to me, Hello, hello. This is um, this is me in a in a music shop um, in Yeovil. Yeovil gig last night in uh, this guy James's house was was wicked. Really nice time. Loads of nice people. Um, just really good fun. And um, I'm now doing that thing. I guess you're supposed to do when you're on tour, which is go to a, a music shop and buy some strings, which I just did. Been having conversations about guitar amps, like acting like I know what I'm on about. Um, and as you can see there behind me, there's just like loads of guitars, which I'm never gonna buy, because I can't afford them. So I'll just do that little turn. And um, this place is called Waterloo Music. So if anyone is lives near Yeovil or you live in Yeovil and you wanna, you know, you're struggling for someone to buy a guitar or, drums or strings or whatever this is the place to come the guy who's running the place a really nice guy don't know his name but he's wearing a nice red check shirt and uh, i'm a big fan of check shirts so yeah so so that's that for now look at all these comics you ever seen this many comics before other than like at a convention or something like that it's amazing isn't it this is my friend Dave's comic collection, or some of his collection anyway. My favourite part of this collection is the fact that on almost every box it says the word comic. I guess just in case he kind of has an accident, I guess amnesia or something, and he's not sure what he keeps in these boxes. It's pretty cool that, isn't it? Thousands, millions of pounds worth, I reckon, yeah? Some super rare ones, I reckon. Not much good if it catches fire, though, this house, is it? God, look at that. Suicide Squad. THC, whatever that is. Something I don't know what that's about. London Super Comic Convention 2. That must be like a programme or something. So, yeah, that's, you know, that's, that's, how, that's how we're living, yeah. It's pretty, this is where I'm sleeping. On top of all these comics, it's quite cool, isn't it? It's my bed there, actually. It's a bit of a squeeze. It's a bit uncomfortable as well because you can see it's, it's a bit lumpy. So tonight I might blow up the airbed and um, actually sleep under the duvet rather than just sleep on top of that pile of bedding tonight because last night wasn't very comfortable. So this is a strange video diary because you couldn't just see my knees, but in a minute you're gonna just be you're gonna see something just amazing. Right, if I, I don't know if you can see this. On the side of this sofa, there's like a button that you press, right? And then watch this now, right? So I'm sat on the sofa, I'm fairly relaxed, but I want to be more relaxed. 
with the aid of like uh, machinery and pressing a button. Look at this. It's just amazing, that, isn't it? How good is that? Oh, I'll tell you what, this is the best tour going. a pretty big lorry that is isn't it massive huge like amazing hello hello it's um i don't even know what day it is of this tour now to be honest maybe day four five i think i think day four maybe um, so yeah, I played um, played Northampton last night, a place called The Lab, with uh, Jonah, Matranga and Helen Chambers. It was an absolutely amazing night. Um, Helen was amazing, Jonah was amazing, uh, the venue was just lovely, everyone there was just super nice and to be honest I couldn't have asked for more, it was, it was just a brilliant night. Um, so. I'm uh, now on my way to Brixton. Um, I'm going a really long way. I'm going kind of via Croydon on the M25 because I'm a bit nervous about driving through London because I've never done it before. I don't really want to go through kind of more central London, so I'm doing it to avoid that. I know a lot of people would be quite um, critical of that, maybe, if they're like a stronger driver or maybe just brave uh, or braver than me. So. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Um, spent a couple of days in a place called Wolverton, which is kind of like pretty much a part of Milton Keynes. And uh, stayed with my friends Dave and Fee. That was really nice of them to put me up. And um, I had a lovely time, it was wicked. Uh, I watched a film called Green Room, like a sort of horror film, all about a punk band um, on tour. Play like a show when it all goes wrong. and. It's quite violent, so that wasn't the best thing to watch while I'm on tour, to be honest. Uh, but you know, fingers crossed, nothing like that's going to happen to me. My uh, my my biggest kind of realization and concern, um, and I guess this is probably just opinion based, is I noticed like driving around Milton Keynes. Just I I understand that it's all like national speed limit the 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 roads. But to me, they just look like residential streets. So I didn't really realize. So people were just cutting me up all over the shop, um, swerving in and out of me. I was probably annoying everyone. So I guess maybe it's all just my own fault. But my opinion is, I just don't think it's safe to have the ropes that fast in those areas. Like, I feel the same about country lanes as well. Um, maybe I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I've only been driving a few years, but I just, I don't know. I just didn't feel comfortable driving around those roads so I'm really glad now to be on the motorway not having to um not having to kind of deal with that 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 situation anymore like so so yeah anyway so onwards we go to Brixton playing with Zappy and Cardinal Fink and John Gurlis tonight all friends so looking forward to tonight just gonna have a nice time really and um and that's that so I'll catch up with you again I'm gonna uh, carry on listening to uh the Keith Caputo died laughing solo album, the first solo album he released. 
that's Keith Caputo who used to be in Life of Agony. Um, he is now a she. Uh, her name is Mina Caputo. Um, and she is still in Life of Agony actually. Um, and they've just made a new album, so I'm looking forward to that. So anyway, gonna listen to this album and uh, I'll catch up with you soon. Nice one. So um, I'm in a place in Brixton, I think we're in Brixton, and um, this is a place called Nook Grill. I think it's like, uh, I don't know, what kind of, what cuisine is this, John? Um, Jamaican. Jamaican cuisine, yeah, yeah, Jamaican cuisine. And um, this is John Gurley eating his sweet potato fries, he's being some authentic sweet potato fries. There's Paul there eating some chicken, jerk chicken. Jerk chicken. Is that jerk chicken? Amazing. Yeah, the finest. In gravy. And gravy. See that? That's pretty good. Yeah. And then Alan Stacey are having a chat over there. And they're just sort of waving and... Chris, how do you feel about that description of what a flat white coffee is? You've blown I'm away by that. I just have an instant coffee with some milk in it, and I'm not bothered where it comes from. <laughs> Honestly, I don't want to. In fact, I wouldn't want to go out and buy a coffee. Full stop. I'd rather make one at home. Oh, it's got to be free, is it? And you're wearing a Descendants T-shirt. What's what, what does that mean? I'm obsessed with coffee. Oh, Descendants yeah, like coffee I'll, day. I'll, I'll do my own though. I don't want to go out and pay for coffee when I can make one at home. So what would you do then if you're out and about? Would you wait till you get home to have one? Yeah, home? exactly. Yeah, I'd wait till I get well, home you to wouldn't have a just, coffee. You wouldn't just give in to your, your craving no. at the time? No. Occasionally, when I'm taking kids to football, I'll buy a coffee that's like 50 pence and that's just like <clears throat> from the stand at the, the kids' football thing. That's the only time I buy a coffee when I'm out. I'd never go to a Starbucks or a Costa or even just an independent coffee shop and buy a coffee. Well, there you go. Just that's, don't do it. That's the coffee report. <laughs> and I like my coffee. <laughs> it's the crystal there. Uh, no, I, I don't want to pay a ridiculous amount for some hot water and some coffee. <laughs> So uh, here, here I am in, in uh, Maidenhead, in, uh, in public, filming myself talking. I feel a little bit silly doing this, to be honest. Um, played in Brixton last night, uh, which was amazing. Wicked night. Zappy and John Gurlis and Cardinal Fink are all amazing. Loads of friends come out. Um, just, just brilliant, like, just, just a wicked night, to be honest. So, yeah, it's, it's, everything's still wonderful. So... In Maidenhead tonight for a last minute extra gig at a place called The Anchor, like a, like a rock pub. Um, so it um, looks pretty cool in there actually. So so looking forward to it and um, I haven't got a huge amount to say because I feel like I've got a bit of a cold coming on. So um, I think it's affecting my, affecting my mood slightly, maybe I'm a bit grumpy. So that's all i got to say for now and I'll uh, catch up again. Nice one. I'm talking to myself every night Are yeah, you okay, man? I'm doing fine I don't want your smiles or your sympathy Cause friends like these are all I need But my only friends are chemicals And my only friends are chemicals Just um, just driving now to, to Cambridge from Maidenhead. Played Maidenhead last night in the uh, the Anchor. It was, it, was, it was quite a fun night actually. Quite a uh, like a cool little rock pub. I had a lovely time uh, staying with Chris from Zappians family uh, there. Had some lovely home cooked food. It was it was wicked. 
Um, I'm feeling a little bit, a little bit better today. I was feeling a bit rough yesterday, as I mentioned in another video. Um, and uh, so I'm, I'm doing this drive now. I'm on the M, M11, I think I am. I got, um, I got Kiff from uh, Zapier with me as well. Um, but you can't see him because he's over the other side over there in the passenger seat. Um, kind of sniggering now because he can't believe I'm doing this. And um, and that's it really. So yeah, tour's almost over. So Cambridge tonight with Down Love and Superstars of Track and Field. And oh, who else is here now? Um, oh, and Zappi and obviously, yeah. Um, and, and that's it then. And then back to Cardiff. And then playing a show in Cardiff then at the Crafty Devil Brewery with a bunch of really good bands. So almost done, almost done. Definitely looking forward to being home. So uh, so yeah, there you are anyway. So I'll catch up with you again. Nice one. I've just asked um, Chris from Zappian to film me with this prawn toast at this noodle place in Cambridge because this is easily the best prawn toast I have ever had. Kiff, is it the best prawn toast you've ever had? By far, the best prawn toast I've ever had. Unbelievable. Sometimes when you get this stuff right, there's hardly any like prawn in it. This is actually, to be honest, if I turn it around, look at that. That's like, it's like a prawn smile. That's how amazing the amount of prawn is. It looks like a mouth of prawns, like pureed prawns, like got mint prawns. So anyway, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, that's just the best. The only place that came close, close to that, not close, close, is a place in West Wales, in Pembroke, when I was a kid. And they used to have it with a prawn, like stacked on top with a little, uh, like a pea, like a frozen pea in it. And um, that's the only thing I would say comes close. This comes close to that. But to be honest, I don't think that place is even around anymore. So I'm gonna say this is, I'm gonna go out there and say, this is the best prawn toast in the whole of the UK. And I'd love to know if anyone can find anything better than this. I reckon that looks better. What? I reckon that looks better. Well, the duck? Yeah. We haven't really started that yet, so. That I reckon is nice, I think that's going to be nice, but I think it's going to need some sauce. I don't know what Chris is doing now really, he's just filming other stuff. But anyway, so that's all I wanted to say there, I just wanted to document that, so nice one, cheers. driving back to Cardiff now on this fairly grey Saturday morning um, last night was uh, absolutely amazing in Cambridge at the corner house um, organised by Ian Perry 
he runs our real records um, it's just such a great night um, superstars of track and field played an acoustic set which was which was really really good um, unfortunately the lighting was so dark I couldn't get any footage of that to uh, include in this film so it's, uh, you'll have to just take my word for it uh, that they were good like you know um, and then Down Love played who were kind of sort of from Kingston and uh, they were amazing and also just turns out that a lot of them are like good friends if not all of them are good friends with some of my good friends in Cardiff as well which which blew my mind so I had some really nice chats with them uh, which, was, which was wicked and then um, and then Zappian who I've been sort of touring with for the last couple of days delivered what I think was their best performance of the tour they absolutely ripped the place apart I thought they were amazing and um, I'm really gonna miss him and hopefully now I'll see him next year so it was brilliant yeah some really good friends came out as well really nice to see uh, Rob and Dempsey and DS and Georgie um, so good um, good to kind of meet uh, Martha as well um, Dempsey's uh, partner as well so yeah just just brilliant really like just such a good night um, so can't really ask for any more so it's been a great week but I'm definitely looking forward to getting back to Cardiff now playing uh, a gig in Cardiff tonight which um, I suppose technically is part of this tour but it's not really and that's uh, like a Halloween do at the Crafty Devil Brewing uh, Company uh, their kind of brewing headquarters I suppose that's in Cardiff so doing that with a bunch of good bands like Human Heat and The Hangmen um, amongst others so yeah absolutely wicked great week can't wait to be home and uh, this is me I think signing off for I don't know a undisclosed period of time before I decide to bore you to death with any more in car or out of car video diaries thank you very much cheers